now I'm playing a video game and the game is Formula One, so let's we'll see. And what is the unit of the game that I'm playing right now? Is the steering input is taken from uh, the group of my hair right now. And I'm going to play to the left. And the steering input is going to the left. And when I'm leaning to the right, and the steering in the game has to be leaning to the right. So, well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make device like this. Well, actually, the secret device in there, I'm going to show you. Yeah, and it is the Android device that I attach in my controller right here. As you can see when I do this. Well, actually, the function is similar to Xbox Speed Wheel, as you can see in here, where you have to hold the controller in the air. It's like a wheel in the real UI, and you just lean it to the controller. And since we are about to rely on the Android so much, there are two applications, Android applications, that you can use to make your Android to become a wheel, steering wheel, it is GD Sim Wheel, or it is free, but the other one is paid app. Paid app. It is the Play Store, and I have both apps. But in this video, I'm gonna show you um, using this application. So first thing first, you have to attach your Android to the controller like this. You can use anything. So like uh, in here, I'm using the rubber band because in this uh, attach and detach it uh, very quickly you can use uh, for let's say another thing glue <laughs> let's say or tape or whatever if you have there so first you going you have to install all the required apps in the GDC wheel for example the free joystick driver and also the server application, GD Simul and the race are using the same driver, it is before Joy, so you have to install either one of them. You can have install both at the same time. So since we are using the GD Simul, just install for uh, for virtual device driver and also the real server. And since you will have to connect the Android device and your computer, nowadays most of Android device, uh, devices are using Wi-Fi connection. Well, it's fine if you already have a router. Uh, if, if you don't have a router, you can just uh, enable the portable hotspot in the, your Android. Or you can also uh, install the Connectify here that I am using right now, Connectify. Basically, Connectify is converting your laptop into a router where you can just connect uh, your Android to the Wi-Fi that I enabling right now. So, even if you already have a router, by using this app, you can make the connection faster because the connection will be your Android and your computer, directly, directly to your computer, not the Android, the router, and then uh, your, your computer. So. Uh, after enabling the Wi-Fi, I just connect my Android here. These are the two programs that you have to install in your computer. First, you have to install the PGOE driver and then the Simul server. After you install both of them, you can just run the GD Simul server here. So, make sure that Everything is uh, green, enabled and also required. And the X axis or Y axis is yes. So right now the client is still no because I haven't uh, opened the application yet. So after I'm opening the GD simulator here, yeah, as you can see, the client is uh, the client IP address is the IP address in my Android right here, and yeah, it's basically connected. So run the game. 
and go to the options drafting controls this this is for the setting in uh, formula one the control con config is custom and as you can see in the steer steer wheel steer in the steer lap this and then go to the left and then it will make uh, steering input your android devices and then steering right you just customize it and then it goes to the right and the accelerate you can just assign for example for example rt here and the braking is for the LT if you are using the ordinary controller well it's basically you can assign the extra throttling into your right uh, analog because you can just measure the amount of throttling with your analog well actually after you finish customizing all of the controllers configuration of controllers you can just directly play it you can just directly play it and once you can see it's pretty useful for the game that requires a nice controller Yeah, that's all. You can use this if I for any other racing games as well. Well, this is the game of Assetto Corsa. Uh, in the option of the controller, where it takes the input from video device. The throttle, throttle is from my RT here, and the brakes from my LT here. Well, um, you can measure, you can uh, customize the amount of the sensitivity for the, uh, for your uh, dead zone in a controller. You can also use it in the uh, force speed shift to in this. Similar to the other things.